Hey YouTube, Peter Bacaz here. Hey, what's going on today? It is Friday, August 16th, and I hope you're having a great day. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And on to today's video. Today's video is an important video nonetheless. What's going on in the state of Michigan is just kind of crazy, and as we all know, what's going on in Detroit is even more crazy with the bankruptcy that Detroit has filed. The first thing that I really want to talk about is I want to talk about what Michigan is doing next and what Michigan is proposing is a 1% sales tax increase on all consumer goods and possibly gasoline as well. What I find amazing is that our governor, Governor Schneider, can actually think about doing this as to what has happened to Detroit as well. Granted, I know well about Detroit. I live here in Michigan and I made a video a little over a year ago that I really want to spotlight right now. I really want to encourage everyone to go to this video, not because I want views on it, but because I made this video over a year ago. Over a year ago, I had the vision of Detroit and where it was going. And the title of my video is, Will Detroit Be a New World Order Start Point? for martial law. The things that are going on in Michigan and in Detroit right now are just unheard of. No major city has ever filed for bankruptcy before and Detroit at one point in time wasn't the United States largest manufacturing city. It was the world's largest manufacturing city. And now that Detroit has filed bankruptcy with the help of our Governor Snyder, Governor Snyder has now gone forward to offer a 1% sales tax increase. And this is where it's going to go. Again, our governor is going to plead with its citizens by saying the tax is going to go to the schools of Michigan. And how many times have we heard that tax money is going to go to the public school system? If all the money that is said to be going to the public school system really went to the public school system, we wouldn't be having these problems. We all know that when governors and other legislative branch people say the tax is going to go to the school, we know that's a lie. Because it says right here in the article, and links will be below, that of this tax raise, $1.2 billion will go to the schools, and $1.2 billion will go to fixing roads across the state. Now, I find that very, very odd, because how is it that it's going to be a 50-50 split? If we're going to raise this tax and you're proposing that it's going to go to the school system, well then why don't all of it go to the school system? You see, the school systems are the way they are because that's the way they want them to be. They being the government and the new world order. But getting back to my local point here in Detroit and in Michigan, if Detroit has filed for bankruptcy, in which they have, Detroit is in a situation that, that it's never been in before. We have violence, rape, and murder that is going out of control. Of those ones that are reported, there are just as many that are not being reported or even phoned into the police. We just had an incident three weeks ago where a young girl was raped and the police never showed up. What happened was, is concerned citizens went over and beat the guy up. The police never showed up, not one time. And I can't tell you how many times this happens. And now, the Michigan governor wants to raise sales tax in this state? Here's the real reason. And again, I want you to go to my video and I want you to watch it. I made this video over a year ago. And again, I'm not sending you to this video for views. I made the video a long time ago. That video is gone and it's over. But if you go back to the video and you see what I'm saying about what's going on now, 
the stuff that I say in that video of what I said, w which was going to happen, or at least could at least happen, is happening now. That's the scary point. What's even more scarier is that our government in the state of Michigan wants to take more money from the people that just got screwed over in the city of Detroit. Now, I'm not saying that there haven't been problems, but the problems that have occurred aren't just by coincidence. If you don't believe me, research Agenda 21. The problems that the United States has and the problems that Michigan has and the problems that Detroit has are not by coincidence. And I want you to research that. I also would like you to go back and watch my video. The link will be underneath. And then comment on either video. Either comment on that one or comment on this one. I don't really care. And don't forget, Casper Swallow is coming up too. That video will also be underneath. Thank you. And let's have a great weekend.